Bom dia, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are on this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video. Welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel, guys, for the newcomers. My name is Didi Taihutu. I am the dad of the Bitcoin family, the five-headed family that has traveled the world already for four years, solely living on Bitcoin after going all in. And all in, guys, yes, was all in. We sold our house, we sold our companies, we sold literally everything we owned, invested everything into Bitcoin and started traveling the world. Now, four years later, still traveling the world, coming to you guys from Lagos in Portugal. In today's video, of course, talking a little bit about the family and our plans and about the family token. Then we will go into some crazy cool Bitcoin charts where I show you what Bitcoin is going to do in the next couple of days, weeks. Also comparing Bitcoin to some currencies to give you an idea how much of these fiats can go into Bitcoin. So you can see what is happening with the total market caps of fiat and Bitcoin, comparing Bitcoin a little bit to gold, showing you guys what the bears in the industry expect. And then we will end the video talking about some gaming news, talking about the Didi Bam Bam indicator and about a social dilemma. Enjoy today's video guys. cold guys my feet are almost freezing but still walking without flip-flops Portugal is cooling down guys in the mornings and the evenings it's like 10 to 15 degrees during the day then it heats up to 25 degrees so during the day you can be on the beach but now in the morning and yesterday in the evening it is really getting chilly do I want to stay in a chilly country <laughs> I don't know yet I thought I would easily handle these chilly nights and mornings, but my feet are like really freezing at the moment. Wow, this is really cold. This is Europe. Oh my God, maybe I need to drive this Bitcoin machine very fast to the warmer areas of the world. Maybe even go into Africa and then take a ferry from the south of Africa to Thailand again or something like this, because my feet are really freezing. What are you whining about, man? You know Wim Hof, your fellow Dutchie? He's swimming in ice cold water, man. He's swimming meters below the ice. He's like climbing the Kilimanjaro naked. And you're complaining about cold feet. <laughs> I think that is what you are thinking at home, so I won't complain anymore, guys, because my feet are adapting to the cold sand. Let's talk about live Bitcoin and blockchain, guys. Let's start with the live part. Bam! That is the live part. Guys, so sorry. I didn't create a video yesterday. I had an off day. And in the end of this video, I will tell you why I had an off day. Yesterday evening, we visited another very beautiful Bitcoin family, hardcore Bitcoin family. How do you know it's a hardcore Bitcoin family? Because if you walk into somebody's house and then you see these crazy cool Satoshi paintings all over the walls, and you see some notes here and there in the house and you hear him talking about Bitcoin and he is wearing a Satoshi t-shirt and the kid is also playing Bitcoin games uh, then you know you are walking into a hardcore Bitcoin family house and uh, we had a beautiful barbecue the house was an amazing drive uphill it was like very far from the sea it's like an hour drive almost but it's a beautiful location with beautiful amazing views widely views over the hills of uh, the backlands of uh, Portugal and we were invited there for a barbecue it was great meat it was a very nice time sadly Jessa at the end mm, she was like oh I want to go home but we were already there till like 11 o'clock in the evening or something and Jessa was getting tired so we needed to leave but we really enjoyed the barbecue we really enjoyed the chats 
For if you're watching the video, I'm not going to disclose who you are. Maybe you're even Satoshi and I don't want the people to know that I just visited Satoshi. <laughs> thank you guys for inviting us and hopefully we'll meet again soon and soon because this family also had about four kids of which two daughters and one of them is 16 and one of them is 13. So that's the perfect age for Jolie and Juna to connect with and Jessa she connects with everybody so that will be fine as well and i think we as two families guys we can convert whole portugal into bitcoin minded people even more than they already are an update about the travels guys yes we are still searching for a rooftop tent for on the bitcoin machina because we want to start to drive around portugal you know and camp somewhere here and there and sleep in the nature and sleep at the sea and talk about really cool things on really cool locations also still thinking about how to pimp the inside of the car because we need to have this bitcoin ceiling and bitcoin colors inside as well i'm even thinking about a really cool thing that i will do with the car at the end of the tour I think you will really like it i cannot disclose it yet because i am not confident that i'm going to do this but the moment i will be confident i will do this i will of course share this first in the discord group yes we opened the discord group and the telegram group that you can only access when you own Bitcoin family tokens. That you can earn by watching my videos, sharing my videos, sharing our content, uh, checking all our social media, because I will hide QR codes all over social media. And every time you find these QR codes and you scan them, just like a treasure hunt, you receive some family tokens. And the more family tokens you own, and the higher level you have access in these discord groups and the telegram group and yes i know it's not a competition but i kind of want to gamify our content as well i want to make it cool for you guys to be part of the bitcoin family and i want to reward you guys for what you're doing for the bitcoin family because it's not just we that belong to the bitcoin family it is also you that belongs to the Bitcoin family. We are one big kick ass Bitcoin family, but you need to hodl the family tokens. Yes, I need to create FOMO. You need to hodl family tokens because else you're not part of the family. <laughs> no guys, of course, you're always part of the family, but these tokens just give you access to really cool stuff, gives you discounts to our stores. You can get like shout outs in my videos. You can get, get your music below my videos. I'm going to create many more ideas what I can give you in return for you claiming free tokens in the videos. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. Yeah, th then we are at the Red Hot Chili Peppers number. Give it away, give it away, give it away now. I'm just giving away because you claim the tokens for free and then you can claim rewards with these free received tokens. So yes, it's all about fun and maybe in the future this family token will even have a value. But let's keep it to what it is at the moment and we'll see in the future how this will develop. Yes, I didn't forget, two days ago I asked you guys to comment what the name of this black rock was. 11 of you had the correct answer, so I asked Siri to give me a random number between 0 and 11. The number answer is 5. Number 5 came out, as you can see on the screen. Siri is always my assistant. The fifth answer to my question was given by Marco Peters. So Marco Peters, congratulations with this free bitcoin t-shirt please contact me in telegram or whatever that was the bitcoin family part we are now going to the bitcoin chart part yeah that's the part where i bomb you guys with really cool bitcoin charts and maybe some other charts so let's start with the really cool first bitcoin chart let's go for it and bam that's the first chart guys this is a day chart on a day chart every candle is a day on this chart you can see that we are forming a channel the top of the channel is still 12k and the bottom of the channel is still around 10,800 us dollar per bitcoin the mid of the channel this is the area of support that we are at the moment testing yes we went up to 11,700 we fell down to the area of 11,200 and this level we are now testing at the moment so the question is if we are going to hold support around at 11,200 level or if we're going to fall below this level if we will fall below the 11,200 level guys we could fall to the 20 ma the 20 moving average or the 100 ma still all okay over here because 10,500 us dollar is the biggest support level that we won't be breaking in my opinion so if we are not breaking to the downside, but we are breaking to the upside, guys, then we will soon see 11,700 US dollar or even 12K per Bitcoin. 
in my opinion, we are still in this channel moving upwards. The trend is still up. So I still think we will see 12K, 14K, 16K, and even 20K maybe at the end of this year. But that is what I expect. So let's take a look at what the bears are expecting. Then we need to take a look at another chart because the bears, of course, expect a different scenario than a bull like me would be expecting. So let's take a look at what the bears are expecting. Let's take a look at this chart. Bam! Yeah, indeed. And this guy, and this chart, guys, you can see the bears are expecting that we will drop another 1k so that we had a total drop from 12k to even below 10k maybe to even fill the cme gap we have been talking about weeks the bears still expect this to happen this chart has an indicator on it the yellow arrow this is the sell indicator and the yellow arrow at the bottom there's only one that was the buy indicator but the sell indicator is in line with the thomas the mark sequential nine so TD9, this is an indicator that is used by many TAs and this indicator just flashed again. If you look to the left on the chart, on this chart you can see that every time we saw a TD9 on the charts, we saw a drop in the Bitcoin price, even up to 2K, yeah, 12 to 10K. At these yellow arrows, that was the TD9 signal. And from that moment, you can see that we dropped down. This yellow arrow just appeared again. So we saw a TD9 we already fell a few hundred dollars but the bears now expect that we can fall even thousand to two thousand dollars so we will go all the way back to nine thousand six hundred us dollars i don't know if this is all going to happen guys because this is a cme 10 hours future chart so every candle is 10 hours strange number for me cme chart also not a, a not a regular chart to me but still if you look to the left you can see the history of this chart and the history is telling us that on the CME futures chart, CME 10 hours futures chart, we could see that every time this TD9 signal appeared, we saw a drop in Bitcoin. So what happened in history is not always a prediction for the future, but of course, we need to be honest, if something shows us that we drop every time at the same signal, it could happen again. But maybe the drop of 400 US dollar we now saw was this drop and we will recover again and hold a support of 11,200 to 11,400 and then flip the level of support to 11,500 US dollar per Bitcoin. And why 11,500 US dollar per Bitcoin? Because we will take a look at this chart. Bam! On this chart, yes, I'm really bombing you with charts today, guys. I'm in a charting mood. So in this chart, this is a weekly chart, a weekly normal weekly chart. And on this chart, you can see that 11,500, if you look to the left on the chart, you can see that 11,500 has always been this resistance we try to fight. And many times in the past, we couldn't break 11,500, maybe a little bit with a peak, but then we fell down again and we dropped to lows. But now on this chart, guys, you can see that the last couple of weeks, yes, every candle is a week, the last couple of weeks, we have been making higher highs and higher lows. And every time we make higher highs and higher lows on the chart, we are in an uptrend. So in my opinion, on this weekly chart, beautiful chart, because you zoom out on a chart as an investor, on this weekly chart, you can see we are creating higher highs and higher lows, which means the trend is up. And this is very important because we have some negative news in the industry. And normally with this negative news, where for example, OKEX now um, throws uh, the withdrawals, I don't think there is a huge problem. I think it's one media battle between Binance and OKEX. So everything is okay with OKEX. Uh, but you can see, even with this negative news, it didn't move the Bitcoin price. It can move the Bitcoin price, really, because the funds are frozen on OKEX, so nobody will dump them because they can't withdraw them. There were even a few movements from Yobi, I, I think like a few thousand Bitcoins to OKEX, uh, which was really strange because who would move their Bitcoins from Yobi to OKEX if you know you can't withdraw them. So even these whales are really trusting OKEX. So I don't think there is any problems with OKEX. It's just part of the whole Bitcoin drama industry that needs to create some news because also negative news is news. So to sum it up, yes, this weekly chart is a very positive chart. Don't worry, be happy, don't freak out, but zoom out. And of course, another beautiful chart, this one. Bam! On this chart, you guys can see the difference between the Bitcoin and the gold price. So you can see that the Bitcoin price and the gold charts have been moving in line with each other. 
And now we expect, as a Bitcoin community, at least Willy Wu is expecting, Raul Paul is expecting, all these guys that made a lot of mileage in this industry, the guy, these guys are saying we could soon see Bitcoin outperforming gold in a huge way because more and more and more huge institutions are interested in Bitcoin. They are just searching the channels how to get into Bitcoin at the moment. So the pipelines are now being created. And when these pipelines are being connected, then a shitload of money will flow into Bitcoin. And then Bitcoin will decouple from the gold chart. And you will see that the Bitcoin price will go up very steeply. And the, the gold price will just go up very slowly which of course is already obvious to you guys because if you watched all my videos you could see if you invested one dollar in bitcoin 10 years ago you would be now a millionaire and if you invested one dollar in gold 10 years ago you could now buy a snickers bar so that's the difference already that was created between bitcoin and gold and this difference is even going to be bigger in the next bull run that were all the bitcoin charts guys so let's move on to the next part of the video the blockchain slash news part of the video BAM! This blockchain slash new part, I have another chart for you guys. <clears throat> Maybe we cannot call it a chart. Maybe we should call it a table. Yes, it's a table. It's not a chart. It's a table. So I'm not bombing you with charts, but also with tables. I know physical tables, because that would hurt all my screen or your face. So <laughs> let's keep it to these digital images that we refer to as a table, where it's like a thing with numbers. <laughs> That, that table wow there is a huge jellyfish a huge jellyfish this one is really big this is like steve urban big huge this is amazing hey this one is like really big i have never seen a big one like this do you want to see this one do you want to see this huge amazing jelly can they bite now they're dead he's dead check it That was a big jellyfish. Where was I? Oh yes, I was about to share with you guys a table, a really cool table. Let's bam the table onto your screen. Bam! Check this table, guys. In this table, guys, you can see the top 10 fiat currencies market cap in Bitcoin. So you can see how many Bitcoins are in a fiat market cap. How many Bitcoins it would be, this fiat market cap. That doesn't sound really... Uh, clear to me but but let's just talk about it so you will understand as you can see the Chinese yuan the fiat has the biggest market cap in the world if we would buy bitcoins with the Chinese yuan market cap we could buy 2.8 billion bitcoins on the second place we have the US dollar with the US dollar we could buy another 1.6 billion bitcoins so if you take the whole market cap in US dollars, we could buy another 1.6 billion Bitcoins. And then if we would also add the Euro, the whole market cap in Euros, we could buy another 1.3 billion Bitcoins. So only with the three top currencies in this table, we could buy 5.7 billion Bitcoins. Now, how many Bitcoins are there now? 18.5 million. How many Bitcoins will there be in total at the end, in 2140? Indeed, only 21 million. About the amount here on my shirts, 21 million Bitcoins. So if there are only 21 million Bitcoins available, and then if we, if we would only calculate the top three fiat currencies, that market cap, <clears throat> they would be able to buy 5.7 billion bitcoins at the current price. So now you can see how big the growth opportunity of bitcoin is. There is a shitload of fiat market cap that can flow into bitcoin. If only a small part of this total fiat market cap wants to flow into bitcoin, even then the bitcoin, tri the bitcoin price needs to increase tremendously to not 100k, not to a million, but maybe even to a trillion US dollar per Bitcoin. Because else, it is mathematical, just not possible. So yes, I believe a lot of these fiat currencies are going to crash 
are going to have problems with this huge crisis we are going to see. And then, yes, I believe that a lot of people, companies, institutions are going to hatch their fiat into Bitcoin. But we only have 21 million Bitcoins. And as you can see on this table, there is a shitload of fiat that is about to board Bitcoin. And where the supply stays the same, but the demand increases. At anything in the world, when the supply stays the same and the demand increases, there is only one direction the price can go, and that is up. I think, guys, this is going to be a very long video. Sorry for that, but yesterday I didn't make a video, so now you have the double time of watching videos. That is the first item in the blockchain news. The second item is gaming. Yesterday I visited the family, the son of the father. He is gaming and he is earning sets. He is stacking sets by playing games. There are a lot of Bitcoin games. The guy has a Discord channel. In this Discord channel, he is sharing all the information about Bitcoin games and what games to play and where you can stack your sets by just playing games. One of the games, of course, is Light Night. This is a little bit like Fortnite, but then on the blockchain. And yes, you can play a Fortnite-like game. It's called Light Night and then earn stats. So stack your stats while gaming. So I think the gaming industry is going to provide huge mass adoption in the world because a lot of people like to game, a lot of youngsters like to game, and this is how they can earn Bitcoin if they can't buy them. They can just monetize their gaming skills. Of course, not only Bitcoin is providing games, also Ethereum is providing games. I even read something about Gamey. Gamey has a user base of about 20 million users. They are now going to create their own ERC20 token and gamers can use this token inside this gamey games. So that will be 20 million people that have the opportunity to access this gamey token. And of course, if they have the gamey token in the future, they will also exchange or hatch their gamey tokens into Bitcoin because they know that Bitcoin, of course, is for them a store of value. This is how I think the future will look like. These kids collecting all these tokens all over the world with gaming, with working, with even walking, you can earn Bitcoins. There's a new app that, that pays you sets for walking. So all these kinds of things will give poor people the ability to earn Bitcoin or other tokens and change those other tokens then into Bitcoin. So the gaming industry, the sports industry, the, all the entertainment industry, they're all going to be a huge contribution to mass adoption in Bitcoin. This video is really getting long. And then once more short news, soon I will have a Didi Bam Bam indicator. A what? A Didi Bam Bam indicator. What is a Didi Bam Bam indicator? Okay, I will give you a sneak preview of what a Didi Bam Bam indicator is. Let's take a look at this chart. Bam! On this chart, you can see in the bottom of the chart, the Didi Bam Bam Indicator. This Bam Bam Indicator shows you three lines. A top line, a bottom line, and a line that goes through these tops and bottoms. Every time we cross the line from the bottom upwards, we buy or we go long. And every time this line crosses the top line, we start to watch the charts because if it will cross this top line downwards again, we sell. Or we go short and then at the same when we drop below the bottom line we will wait until the line crosses this line again we buy very simple dd bam bam indicator as you can see if you look to the left on the chart all the last times when this line crossed the bottom line and went to the upwards we made profit every time the line crossed the top line to the bottom we shorted we made profit this is what we call the Didi Bam Bam Indicator. Soon I will disclose to you guys how you can get access to this Didi Bam Bam Indicator. But of course, one thing I'm sure about is that you need some family tokens for it. And then there is one more thing. And because I told you in the beginning yesterday, I didn't have any, uh, I didn't was into filming. This was all because in the morning, I watched the documentary with the kids. Sometimes we watch documentaries with the kids. Then we ask them to summarize this documentary on paper and also write what they feel about this documentary. So yesterday, we watched The Social Dilemma. If you haven't seen The Social Dilemma yet, it is a must see, especially if you have kids and you have problems with the telephone time of your kids, with the social interactions and social media of your kids. This documentary opens your eyes. This documentary shows you what might be happening to our world because of social media. 
the leaders in this industry that work as a CEO or whatever in these huge companies, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, they talk about what they created and what they didn't expect to happen, but which sadly did happen and they don't know now how to stop it. And you can see how big the influence of social media is of the worldwide stability of countries, governments and people. It was a shock to me. It really was a shock to me. And that made me doubt yesterday. Do I even want to make videos for YouTube? Do I even want to keep tweeting? Do I even want to share my posts on Facebook? Because it really is an eye opener and I don't know if I want to be a contributor to what I just saw yesterday. But then again, I thought, Didi, I'm just sharing positive things and I'm just sharing what I love. I'm just doing what I love. And of course, where there is a negative side to social media and to the evolution of technology, there also is a very positive side. If you did see this documentary, leave a comment below and let me know what you thought when you saw this documentary. I think it was a shocking documentary, but I would love to see and hear your opinion about what you thought about this documentary. What do you think about this influence of social media in our lives, in our kids' lives, in the world? And do you as a family also have the problem that your kids want to spend 12 hours per day on an iPhone or an Android, whatever? Interesting documentary, it opened up my eyes, but guys, don't worry, be happy. I will continue to do my stuff as long as people are watching it and as long as I can stay positive and have a positive influence, not only in the crypto industry, but also in normal people's lives. That was all for today, guys. I hope you really enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, share the video with your family and friends, hit the notification bell, and please leave a comment, as I love to reply to your comments. I want to thank you for watching and remind you to always zoom out in crypto and zoom in at life. Try to enjoy life every single minute of the day, as that is exactly why life is worth living. Thank you for watching and hopefully see you tomorrow again. Bye.